Last month, we caught up with Redneck at his album launch party at Relentless Garage in Islington. Document One, playing a live set at Cable Club London Bridge. And we interviewed Locker in Soho at his first London date of the year since his debut release on Diplo's label, Mad Decent. But first up, it's Redneck, who last month celebrated the launch of his new album, One Year Later, released on Rogue Industries. A modest little bash on a Monday night in Islington saw XFM's Eddie Temple Morris warm up before Redneck took to the stage to play through a couple of hours of his own productions, including a host of live PAs from artists featuring on the LP, like F.1, Frenchie, Two Ton and Nova, as well as a host of others. The combination of his superbly well mixed production, hideously offensive bass lines and his obscene personality rocked the place sideways. No! For more information on what Redneck's up to, future releases and events, check out his website. Moving on to Cable Club, London Bridge, we were lucky enough to catch up with a group of guys who've been taking the underground by storm recently. I'm, I'm Joe, this is Matt, we're Document One. Uh, I played a live show at Cable. Um, I think it went, went pretty well, um, all things considered, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we played with Maxim and Crunch uh, on the decks and, and, the, and the mic. Um, yeah, basically it was a live set, it was kind of based upon a DJ set, it took the same sort of structure, didn't it? It wasn't just our tunes, the majority was. So the live set showcases a lot of their own production, teeing up their forthcoming EP. It's going to be dropped in two parts over September and October. Um, we've got a few different vocalists uh, which we love working with and that have featured on tracks before and we've thought it was right to bring them in. One of them is obviously Maxim, uh, who was here with us that hosted the set tonight. Did a great job. Thanks, buddy. Tiger Light. <laughs> and Tiger Light, who did the track with us uh, moving together back in May, uh, March, whenever. So back earlier this back year. In a while ago. <laughs> a while ago. And, and then apart from that, we've just got tunes that we've kind of restructured with other vocalists and, and samples. And now we've got uh, Shay. Shay, yeah, Shay, yeah, of course. How can I forget Shay? They also gave us the lowdown on which producers to be looking out for. These wow. new dudes on the scene, Pendulum, pretty sick. <laughs> Don't have you had a Swedish house crew. Swedish house <laughs> posse or something. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Now, on the serious play, I don't know, um, I'm really bad oh, with I'll names. I'll tell you what, you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a clue. Cool. Oh, I'll say just hold it. I'll give you, uh, yeah. Visualist, uh, yeah. Got, yeah. Got young man. And Danny Wav, not, yeah, not to forget Danny, Danny Wav, yeah. We've got yeah. Technian, also sick producer. Uh, Acer, very sick producer. Culprit, obviously. Culprit. Got the Captain Crunch, the Scratch Master to my right. Well, basically, uh, I do bass music uh, like a hip hop DJ would. Like, I'm a turntablist, battle DJ. I really like to play shit like that other people don't know. Like that's my what I like to do is basically play tunes that other people won't know. But you kind of have to have a balance of like the the club floor, like you know the dance floor bangers that everyone knows. Like. Um, and if I'm completely honest, that's kind of an aspect of it I really don't like. I mean, it, like, I only play shit that I like. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna play a song just for pleasing a crowd. Like, I, I'd never wanna go down that road, but um, at the same time, like, I, that's my favorite sort of thing is uh, playing shit that generally people won't know. It's called the Far Too Loud EP. Um, Sick, it. yeah, Smashed it's it. fucking sick, man. Like, Smashed whoever's it. made that knows what the fuck they're doing. Like, but... moving on, we found that Locker was playing down in Soho a white heat. Locker released an EP on Jeffries in June, which then featured on Jeffries Volume 4, released on Mad Decent. They're not really fussed, they want to just put out music they like. And there's a few guys working at the label, Diplo is the, the obvious name, but um, Jasper and Paul the other guys who help and they um, they run a lot of the stuff day to day they're cool guys so yeah shout out to them dudes he also spoke to us about his label tough wax um, it started in probably uh, late 2009 um, back then you know we were all kind of a bit unsure on our feet with our productions and we we're not just into electronic music back then there was more um, we were more into rock music as well we still are but um, 
the way we produce and what we focus on now musically is more electronic and more club based just because it's where we're at and um, just a scene that we work within. So um, we did a couple of rock re releases. We started the series that's been really successful called Aberdeen Truth that was uh, basically um, debuts from Aberdeen producers that were unknown and uh, limited coloured vinyl seven inch runs um, with three in, we've done myself, uh, Yoin, um, Grobby was the third release and the fourth uh, conclusive one comes out in a month or so, a month and a half and that is by Bones and Money who as I said earlier they do a lot of the, the label work with me as well but they're mostly in it with me as well. So. And that concludes episode one. Look out for exclusive interviews with producers and artists. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Get big in the game. Yeah.